Okay, hi guys. Today we're going to begin our paper monsters. Now we just looked at lots of different examples of monsters. Some have very silly mouths, some have kind of more scary mouths. Um, I want you to kind of think of the ones that you like the most, because that's what we're going to try to create today. Now your first job is to just pick the color you want your monster to be. You can see I chose this kind of yellowish orange sheet here. And then along with that, I need to grab a black piece at least one piece, one white piece. You can go get more if you need to for the teeth. And then if you decide to do a tongue on yours, you're gonna want a red or pink piece as well. So I'm gonna set those aside and I'm gonna begin first on this black piece. Now my black piece for my mouth to start with, I should use almost the entire piece because we again are making big mouth monsters. So what I'm gonna do is from one side all the way to the other, I'm gonna make a big rainbow. You can see that there. And then I'm going to kind of come back down like this, do a smaller rainbow, back to where I started. And then I'm going to cut that out. Okay, I try my best to stay on the line I was cutting out. And I have this little extra piece here I'm going to go throw in the recycling. I'm going to set aside to do at the end. Okay, now my next step is to think about what kind of teeth I want. We're going to use these white pieces for teeth. Now, if it helps you, you could draw them on there first. You know, maybe I want some that are kind of bigger. Maybe some will be kind of small. If it helps you to draw them first, maybe some are pointy, go for it. Otherwise, you can just try to simply cut them right out. So I'm going to try my best to cut these out. There goes one. Turn my paper around. I get another one, two. And again, you are the artist. This is your monster. You can make as many or as little teeth as you would like. But continue cutting. All right, so you can cut out as many teeth as you would like. And then you can either glue them on one by one or just set them aside just in case you want to kind of do a test run and maybe put some on where you think you might want them. But I'm planning on doing a tongue, so I'm going to wait to glue mine on just in case I don't need them all. Now, for the tongue, I chose my red piece here. And there's a few different ways you can make it, but I'm going to start with a big letter U. And I'm going to connect the top with the letter M, kind of like that. Okay, and then I'm going to cut that out too. Okay, now you can see I got all my pieces cut out. So now I can kind of arrange them where I think I want them. And when I'm happy with that, I'm going to grab my glue stick. Woo, that was really on there. So if you need help with yours, let me know. And I'm going to just carefully flip the pieces over and glue them where I need them. Now, for these smaller teeth, you might end up putting glue on the whole thing. But for bigger items, like this one here, I don't have to worry about getting the whole thing covered. I just want to at least go around the edges. And then it's always good to kind of hold them down for a few seconds. One, two, three. Okay, keep on gluing. One, two, three. One, two, three. And you can see my tongue sticks off, so I want to only put glue on the top part there. So I don't want to get glue all over my table right now. And I'll have it sticking out like that. Now, at this point, I could add some more teeth if I'd like, or if I'm finished with my mouth, I'm going to take my color piece back. And this is the mouth, so I want to glue it where the mouth should be, so probably not way up here, but I'm going to go kind of towards the middle or the bottom. It's okay if you even want the tongue hanging off the paper. I could kind of put it sideways, straight. You decide. I kind of like mine almost at an angle like that. So again, this is a bigger piece, so I'm not going to cover the whole thing with glue, but I'm going to go around all the sides. And then I like to just kind of put like an X through the middle. And then I really want to make sure that this does not fall off, so I'm going to hold it down real well with all my both my hands for a good one, two, three, four, five. And there you have it. When you get to that point, come show me and then go ahead and throw away all your little scrap pieces. Okay, have fun guys.